The Siderno Group is a criminal association in Canada, Australia and Italy related to the Ndrangheta, a mafia-type organization in Calabria. The association is labeled the Siderno Group because its members primarily came from the town of Siderno on the Ionian coast in Calabria and migrated to Canada and Australia in the 1950s. Characteristics The Siderno Crime Group operates throughout Canada, the United States, Australia and Europe and is composed of a group of families who are related by blood or marriage. Siderno is home to one of the Ndrangheta's biggest and most important clans, the Comiso Ndrina, involved in the global cocaine business and money laundering. According to the Siderno police force, the criminal minds of Siderno are in Canada. One of them, Antonio Comiso, was arrested in June 2005 in Woodbridge, Ontario. The group has moved narcotics over three continents. They had contacts in Bolivia, Venezuela, Brazil, Chile and Peru, and had permanent representation in Colombia for drugs and in Costa Rica and Panama for money laundering. Its key man in Colombia, Roberto Panunzi, was arrested in Medellin, Colombia in 1994. In the past, he had been in charge of heroin shipments from Turkey through Italy to the United States. Canada in Canada in particular in the Greater Toronto Area, a branch of the Siderno Group has been active since the 1950s. Until 1980, the head of the group was Michel Mike Racco. He maintained close contact with the Lupino crime family in Hamilton, Ontario and with the Cotrani crime family in Montreal. By the early 1960s, Racco established the Crimini in Canada with the help of Giacomo Lupino and Rocco Zito. Racco had been urged to start the Canadian operation by Antonio Macri, the undisputed boss of Siderno, until he was killed in January 1975. Michel Racco died of cancer in January 1980. A May 2018 news report explained the group's initial involvement in Canada. Siderno's old world, Drang had a boss sent accolades to populate the new world, including Michel Racco, who settled in Toronto in 1952, followed by other mob families. According to investigators in Italy, by 2010, Toronto's Ndrangheta had climbed to the top of the criminal world with an unbreakable umbilical cord to Calabria. The report stated that there were seven senior Ndrangheta bosses in the Greater Toronto Area, some on the camera di Conrolo, the board of directors. The Toronto Area Siderno Group has included the Coluccio, Tavernese, Bimaria, Filiomene, Ruzzo, and Comiso crime families. Carmine Verducci was also linked with the Ndrangheta group. Leaders are based both in Calabria and Ontario. After Michel Racco's death, his son Dominic Racco filled his void. In January 1983, Anthony Musitano of the Hamilton based Musitano crime family was sentenced to 15 years in prison for bombing a number of businesses in Hamilton, including bakeries. While in prison, he orchestrated the murder of Dominic Racco, who violated their cocaine trade agreement by dealing behind Music Nose Back, and also owed the Musitano family as much as $500,000. Tony Musitano befriended inmate Billy Rankin at Millhaven Institution in Kingston who was due to be released in December that year. Giuseppe Avignon nephew of Tony and Dominic Musitano, often visited Tony in prison to discuss details of the plot, which were secretly recorded by the police. Rankin was released on December 7, and given the OK by Dominic Musitano. On December 10, 1983, Racco got into a car in front of his Mississauga apartment with Rankin. Dominic Musitano and Peter Majest, thinking it was to discuss potential drug trade, but was taken to a railway track and killed. In March 1984, Dominic and Tony Musitano, Avignon and Rankin were arrested. Dominic Musitano received six years for being an accessory after the fact to murder. Anthony Musitano, 
already in prison on the bombing charges, was sentenced to 12 years concurrently. Avignon got five years and Rankin was sentenced to 12 years, all three pleading guilty to conspiracy to commit murder. The Siderno mob in southern Ontario was at the center of a criminal business such as drug trafficking, cigarette smuggling, extortion, and gambling. The organization managed to gain high levels of income from these activities in Canada, but the affiliate persons used to maintain tight links with the small and poor town of Siderno. In fact, the organization of the group was controlled from Siderno or in accordance with plans based there. Giuseppe Coluccio, a member of the Coluccio clan, was arrested on August 7, 2008, outside a strip mall in Markham, Ontario, north of Toronto. He had been hiding in Canada for nearly three years under a false identity and was wanted for drug related offenses, charges of mafia association, and extortion. He was extradited from Canada to Italy on August 19, 2008, and incarcerated under the strict Article 41 bis prison regime. Also from the Greater Toronto area, Giuseppe's brother Antonio Coluccio, who had used the alias Giuseppe Scarfo in Canada, was one of 29 people named in arrest warrants in Italy in September 2014. Police said they were part of the Comiso Nrina. Drangheda crime family in Siderno. In July 2018, Coluccio was sentenced to 30 years in prison for corruption. His two brothers, Giuseppe and Salvatore, were already in prison in Italy on mafia-related convictions. Cosimo Staltri, considered to be a boss of one of ten Drangheda clans in Ontario, based in Toronto, Hamilton, Ottawa and London, and on the camera di Conrolo, died in 2011 of natural causes in Toronto at the age of 86. A retired Woodbridge businessman he was credited with helping take the Cal O'Brien Mafia in Toronto from a poor group of immigrants to a powerful criminal organization. Rocco Remo Comiso, brother of Cosimo Comiso, has also been named as high-ranking in Canadian police reports. In June 2018, Cosimo Ernesto Comiso, Coco, of Woodbridge, Ontario and an unrelated woman were shot and killed. According to sources contacted by the Toronto Star, Comiso was related to Cosimo the Quail, Comiso of Siderno, Italy, who has had relations in Ontario, is considered by police to be a Drangheta organized crime boss. The National Post reported that Cosimo Ernesto Comiso, while not a known criminal, shares a name and family ties with a man who has for decades been reputed to be a mafia leader in the Toronto area. The cousin of the quail, Antonio Colmiso, was on the list of most wanted fugitives in Italy until his capture on June 28, 2005, in Woodbridge. Oh, and July 18, 2019, the York Regional Police announced the largest organized crime bust in Ontario, part of an 18-month-long operation called Project Sindicato that was also coordinated with the Italian State Police. York Regional Police had arrested 15 people in Canada and seized $35 million worth of homes, sports cars and cash in a major transatlantic probe targeting the most prominent wing of the Drangheta in Canada, allegedly headed by Angelo Filiomini. On July 14 and 15, approximately 500 officers raided 48 homes and businesses across the GTA, seizing 27 homes worth $24 million, 23 cars, including 5 Ferraris, and $2 million in cash and jewelry. Nine of the 15 arrests in Canada included major crime figures, Angelo Filiomini, Vito Silli, Nick Martino, Emilio Zanuri, Erica Quintal, Salvatore Olivetti, Giuseppe Sorlio, Rafael Lepore, and Francesco Vitucci. The charges laid included tax evasion, money laundering, defrauding the government and participating in a criminal organization. Also in mid-July, the related investigation in Italy led to the arrest of 12 people in the Siderno group in Calabria. The 12 are closely associated to the Canadian branch of the operation, According to Fausto Lamparelli of the Italian State Police, 
on the 9th of August 2019, as part of the same joint investigation, several former Greater Toronto Area residents were arrested in Calabria, including Giuseppe De Maria, Francesco Comiso, Rocca Remo Comiso, Antonio Filiomini and Cosimo Figiomini. Vincenzo Mua had visited Toronto on March 31, 2019 to meet with Angelo and Cosimo Filiomini, seeking answers to who had ambushed and killed his brother, Carmelo Mua, in Siderno on January 18, 2018. Mua's smartphone was unwillingly and secretly transmitting his closed-door conversations to authorities in Italy. Australia The Australian version of the Siderno group was involved in drug and arms trafficking as well as money laundering. In the Australian case too, businesses were carried out in very tight relation with the Siderno families or families coming from the surroundings of the town. References In Italian, Grateri, Nicola and Antonio Nicasso, 2006. Fratelli di Sangu, Cosenza. Luigi Pellegrini Editor ISBN 88-8101-373-8 Schneider, Stephen, 2009. Iced. The Story of Organized Crime in Canada, Mississauga, Ontario. John Wiley and Sons, ISBN 0-470-83500-1.